What is going on? It's Randy from the future coming back in time now that I've had some time to think about everything that happens in this video and I wanted to preface this video by explaining what is going on. This video is supposed to be nothing more than telling you how much I sold my cars for and whether I made a profit or loss. That was the whole point of the video and then to take a couple of the cars, take them out on their last test drive as a tow truck is coming to pick them up and send them away to their new their new homes. Well, the video started out just fine, and then when we went on a test drive in the Mustang, that's when things really fell apart. You'll see in the video that I was cruising down the road, minding my own business. I wasn't speeding or racing or anything when some man on the side of the road decided to throw rocks at my Mustang, and he hit the Mustang, at which point I threw it in reverse, and I went on back to him, and we had some very choice words, so I want to make it very clear right now. The video is going to start out going through profit and loss. We're going to talk about the cars, how much money, how much I lost, or, or how much I made. And then the video is going to kind of fall apart. There's going to be a lot of really strong language between me and that gentleman. That gentleman is very clear on camera. I got a good look at him, and uh, you get to see him up close and personal. There are a lot of strong words from him as well, saying that I'm driving crazy or something. And literally, I filmed the whole event from the time I got into the Mustang all the way till the time the man threw rocks at the car. Nobody was driving crazy. I wasn't even speeding. He literally just saw the Mustang and threw rocks at it. So the video starts out pretty normal but be prepared if you've got any young children or anything you're probably not going to want them to watch this one because there are a lot of words going back and forth and it happens on a couple different occasions we have multiple encounters with him and then we have an account encounter with the local sheriff's department who uh the man threw rocks at my car hit me while i was driving down a highway he threw rocks at me driving down a highway hit my car, and then he called the police on me, and then the police showed up to have an interaction with me as well. So, enjoy the video. This one is a doozy. Hi, would you do me a favor? Yeah. Slow down on the Mustang, please. Bad at all. Bad at all. What the fuck is your problem? I've got it on camera. I was driving just fine. Don't throw shit at my car again. Out here throwing rocks like a child at people's cars. Oh, he wants me to come back. He wants me to come back. You want me to come back. All right, we'll come back then. You gonna throw some more rocks? Look at here. You gonna throw some more rocks? Got some more got some more rocks to throw. That's a bitch move, you know that? I live right down here. Come holler at me, bitch. Come on, bitch. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today we sold a couple of cars, technically. One of them sold at Copart, and another one is sold through the insurance company, I guess. It's actually on its way back to Copart. So both of them are going to Copart, which is interesting. One of them, for insurance reasons, hail damage, and the other one, because it actually sold. So why don't we get into it? We'll talk about how much I got into the cars, how much I got out of them, and we'll find out if I lost any money. All right, we're gonna head back there. We're gonna hope that the battery is still charged on the Mustang GT, but I, I, I'm just walking out and I'm seeing these cars and it's like, man, this is like, my dream car garage well i would say back in the 80s but even today like this is an absolute dream come true having all of these cars and they're not all here yet all right we have a few cars left out here we've been moving them out this one just sold the escalade this one's almost funny i decided to give this to one of my kids and somebody got a hold of me on youtube in a comment and they said hey my brother's truck was wrecked. I don't have a ride to school. Can you give me that Escalade? <laughs> and I said, politely, I said, no, you're going to have to go buy your own car. Well, he came back and said that, you know, basically that was a, a POS. And he started telling everybody in the comment section, unsubscribe from auto auction rebuilds because I'm going to give one of my vehicles to one of my children. Okay. I called him a crybaby. And then he said he was reporting me to YouTube. <laughs> That's like, okay, man. Whatever, man. You know, whatever floats your boat. Um, anyway, we still have the Impala SS. Um, this one is now spoken for. This car right here, I actually gave away for free. The Ford Taurus SHO, also spoken for. And the Crown Vic is also spoken for. Yes, we've gotten rid of almost everything that's been sitting out here under this tree for a long time. 
We're going to come back in another video and I'm going to talk about these four from the Impala SS to the Mercedes to the Taurus SHO to the Crown Vic because these all sold to a YouTuber, rather, rather large YouTube channel. I can't believe they actually wanted it, but any of these, but they did. They're actually going to be doing something pretty interesting with it. I can't disclose any of that, but we'll come back to that soon. So yeah, the Crown Vic going to a new home, the SHO a new home, the Mercedes, good luck, and the Impala SS, the Escalade also soon to be out of here going to one of my kids. That leaves us with the Sunbird, and I've decided I'm going to go ahead and sell this one as well. Uh, uh, it's I've got the Cavalier Z24 now, quite honestly. I just don't, it's not that I don't want the car. I just, I'm not going to be out driving it. I'm not. I'm going to be out ripping around in that Z24. And for the last, God, it's been about a week. I've put hundreds of miles on the 73 Mustang. I've been out driving that thing everywhere, guys. Like, absolutely everywhere. Why am I walking off? We still have the uh, 87 Grand National that I'm considering selling soon in the garage. I've got the 87 Monte Carlo SS. Um, I'm having a hell of a time getting, getting parts. And that's my biggest complaint in everything right now is that parts seem to be... Uh, <laughs> they're not coming. I ordered them, I paid for everything, and uh, for whatever reason, parts just aren't coming. Let's see if this thing will start. There we go. Boy, it sounds mean. The tow truck is actually on the way. They're supposed to be here at 6, and it's uh, 4.43. Yeah, so we don't have very long to get these cars out of here. Does this thing have gas? It does. It's got a full tank of gas, so whoever got this, man, you're getting a, you're getting a full tank of gas with it. I love the way the exhaust sounds on this. Another Mustang, man. That's three. I didn't even... I keep forgetting I have this car because it sits under the tree. Um, we literally have three Mustangs sitting here right now. And I also just bought another one. Um, an 89 Mustang GT convertible. Um, that'll be here soon. Stole it. Like, I'm not even kidding, guys. I stole that 89 Mustang GT convertible, I think. Uh, the prices I see these things going for, I, I can't I can't hardly believe that I got it for what I got it for. But you guys are going to have to stay tuned for that. That's, that's coming soon. Yeah, it sounds good. I'm going to try to get some of these leaves off of this, man. I, <laughs> I don't want it going to its new home looking like absolute crap. I mean, I don't mind it being a little dirty. Uh, you know, how all of these things go for so cheap, it really doesn't benefit me at all to clean them up. I've done it both ways, where they're nice and clean, and I've done it where they're, you know, still a little dirty. It doesn't seem to make any difference, guys. So there she is. There they are. Oh, we got a little squeak from an accessory under the hood. That's nice. That's nice. There the two of them are, man. Um, adios. So I guess we should figure out how much I got into them. And then we can figure out how much I sold them for. I guarantee you, I lost money on everything, except, I don't know, maybe this one. Maybe the Impala I came out okay on. Let me look up what I got into them, then I'll tell you what I sold them for. But first, I almost forgot about the uh, the Ford Thunderbird. I sold this. Yeah, this one, this one is gone, and I sold it for $5,200 at Copart. And I paid $7,000 for it, so... Yeah, uh, you know, we only lost, what, $1,800 on that car? Not too bad. I Actually, that is pretty bad, but I kept the top. I still have the top in the garage, which means I can probably sell that for another $800. So realistically, we probably only lost 1000 on that. Let's see how much we got into the Mustang. So here's the Mustang. We won this for $3,550. And I sold it, get this, for $4,000. So did I make anything off of it? Well, technically no, after fees and et cetera, et cetera, we did not actually make any money on this one. Out the door on this, we ended up paying $4,634, $4,634. And after Copart fees and everything selling it, I came out with $3,700. So $3,700 is what I got paid out, and we paid $4,634. So we lost almost $1,000, and that does not include the wheels and tires, remember? I ended up paying like $350 for wheels and tires. So we're definitely out 
probably around 1300 bucks on this one. So that brings us to the 2016 Chevy Impala LT, which we won this from ACV Auctions for $6,300. And the good thing about ACV is the fees are only like 300 bucks. So we've got 6,600 into it, but then there was shipping. Shipping was $1,219. All right, so what is it, 66 plus 12? There's $7,800 into this car, and I drove it. Like, I actually used this car. Other than putting some transmission fluid in it, I can't think of anything else that I did to the car. We had it detailed. You know, that was probably a few hundred dollars. So, 66 76 78 $8,100 into this. I guess that's not actually that good, is it? Um, yeah, well, insurance just paid me out $7,000. So... I lost 1600 on this one. So, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't come out good at all. I lost a lot of money. We lost 1600 on this, 1300 on this. What is that? Right at 3 grand? Just under $3000 on these two and I lost what? Another $1000 or so on the uh good lord. That's bad. Guys, I lost wow. I didn't realize I lost this much money. So for those of you that are wondering, I had to add it up myself and I had to add it up a couple times because this is, this is not good. It's really not good. $4,275, $4,275. That is not profit. That is my loss on three cars. Three cars. I've lost over $4,000. It's just, it's a bad day. With that said, obviously there's video revenue to take into consideration and I don't have all of those numbers in front of me. We're going strictly by the numbers. How much I bought, approximately what I had into it, and how much I got out of them when they were done. Um, the Mustang I had plans for, obviously I didn't do anything that I planned on doing with it. I was gonna replace the taillights, I still have them. I've got actually two sets of taillights because the subscriber sent me a pair too. So I've got two sets of taillights, I've got a new pair of headlights, and. I just never, uh, let's take all these leaves off, man. That dang tree. I just never got around to doing anything with it. It sat under the tree, and I was like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And you know what happened? I ended up buying a bunch more cars. I got bored with the ones that were sitting here, and I ended up buying more. So, sneak peek, I guess, maybe the 91 uh, Firebird Formula video hasn't come out yet. And I don't know if the 73 Mustang video has come out yet, but there's a sneak peek of that one as well. Obviously, you guys know the 1988 Cavalier Z24 pretty well by now. The video actually did better than the Fox Body Mustang that I got for 2,500 bucks. Yeah, a $2,500 Fox Body LX V8. I thought for sure with the manual transmission, I thought for sure this video was gonna do far better than a Cavalier. I, I I was shocked. I, I'm blown away at how good the Cavalier video is done. So, hey, major shout out to all of you guys that enjoy this weird, quirky, old content, these old cars, as much as I do. Because if you didn't like them, you wouldn't watch the videos. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Well, the tow truck is on the way to get these, so I figure we probably ought to take both of them out for just one last little rip. I'm not going to go crazy on them, just take them up and down the street real quick see how they do i don't want to miss the tow truck either man th this one's pretty nice though um it needs a good clean but honestly not bad and i sold it with almost a full tank of gas so there's that as well let's see if we can straighten out there we go straighten out that camera roxy's not around i got her in the house we'll take this thing out for just a little just a little rip. Turn on the headlights, fog lights. And oh, we're spinning the tires. Good lord. <laughs> oh. She does get a little loose. For sure. There we go. That blew those leaves right off, didn't it? That's what we needed right there. Man, this is not a bad... I can't believe I parked this under a tree. This is a good running car, guys. Yeah, 
this ain't bad at all. Bad at all. What the fuck is your problem? Don't fucking be driving now. Nobody was doing anything. I mind it. I've got it on camera. I was driving just fine. Don't throw shit at my car again. Okay. Don't you fucking drive that way. Man, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't play, guys. I want to say I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for that. I'm gonna leave that in the video. I was not out here speeding at all. Nothing. We weren't speeding. I was cruising. The speed limit's 45, and this dude threw rocks at my car. This guy right here. Let me show you guys. Right here. This guy. Right here was throwing rocks at my car. And I got him on video doing it too. Guys, take a look at this. I'm literally going 45 miles an hour. This is all we were doing. And the guy chunked rocks at the car and told me don't be driving like that out here. Who the hell is, who are you? Local police department? I think I think the guy thought I was just gonna drive by. Look, I ain't scared of people, man. I I'm not. I ain't worried about it. Send the law if you want to handle it like men and just between us, let's do it then, man. What a I'm trying to I'm I'm trying not to cuss anymore. But that was a I'll be honest with you guys, that was a bitch move. That was a bitch move. That was an absolute pussy move right there to throw rocks at somebody's car. Are you serious? Boy, I threw this motherfucker in reverse. I ain't playing. He's lucky I didn't get out and beat his ass. Old son of a bitch. Boy, you never know what's gonna happen one of these videos. I'm out here just trying, I told you guys we're gonna take him for a rip. I wasn't out here doing anything crazy. We didn't do burnouts or donuts, nothing. Roxy's in the house minding her business. We're gonna take the Impala out for, let's see if he throws rocks at this one. Ooh, I'm heated. I'm not even lying, guys. I'm heated. He had a weapon on his hip. I couldn't see what it was. I don't know if it was a, a knife or a pistol or what. I ain't got mine on me today. You know, another thing, I ain't got tags on these dadgum cars neither. Which really shouldn't be a problem. I'm a dealer. I got my dealer card on me. It's whatever, man. The cars are insured. It's just unbelievable. I, I've i never had somebody throw rocks like that at my car before. This is a grown man. A grown man throwing rocks. Let me see you drive by here. Nope. He waved at me. He's cool. His wife was, uh, his wife is standing out, out at the door. You know, all I'm doing is moving cars up and down the road, making sure that everything's kosher with them before they get picked up by Copart, which is on their way right now. Right now. It's 5 o'clock. The guy's supposed to be here in an hour. I'm trying to mind my own business. Ain't bothering nobody. And there he is. Out here throwing rocks like a child at people's cars. Oh, he wants me to come back. He wants me to come back. You want me to come back. All right, we'll come back then. We'll come back. That's fine. We'll come back. Let's see what this man's got to say this time. Let's see what he got to say this time. Oh, he's got his camera out got his camera out. There we go. Yeah. You gonna throw some more rocks? Look at here. You gonna throw some more rocks? Got some more got some more rocks to throw. That's a bitch move, you know that? That's a bitch Look at here. I want you to keep driving. That's a bitch move. I want you to keep driving. A bitch move. Yeah. Come on. Bitch move. Yeah, fuck you. I live right down here. Come holler at me, bitch. Come on, bitch. You fucking run, bitch. Oh, bastard, call the law. Bring the sheriffs down. I'm going to sit down here. I'm going to film it all, too. 
I'm going to film it all. Man. Wait for the law to come. Kiss my ass. What is wrong with people today, man? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. What is the matter with people? People got like a screw loose in their head or something, man. That, that old guy don't want nothing, man. He don't. He knows where I'm at. He can see me pull in. We're going to sit down here. He wants to show up over here on my property in my yard. Hey, man, we'll handle this. So I'm going to shut the car off. I got the key in the center. I'm going to sit here. We're going to wait. We're going to see what happens. He got the law coming. There's no law out here. There's no cops out here. You, you talk to somebody that knows this place, man. Everybody out here knows me. Everybody knows me. The mayor, mayor lives right there, right behind all those cars. That's where the mayor of the town lives. Give me a break, man. So I guess we're going to sit out here. We're going to wait for the law. The law's going to show up out here, and they're going to they're gonna arrest me for something. I ain't figured out what yet. I wasn't speeding. I wasn't doing burnouts or donuts or anything like that. So um, unless they're going to get me for driving without my dealer tags, which unfortunately are all on my other cars, I don't see how there's very much they're going to be able to do to me. Stay tuned, guys. This video just got interesting. Well, guys, I don't know. I've been sitting here. It is now, let me look at the time. It's 5.30. It's 5.30. I just got a call from the tow company. They're not going to be here for another hour. I thought they were coming at 6. Now it's going to be 6.30. I'm sitting here on my front porch waiting to see if this motherfucker comes back. Let him come back or let the cop show up. One or the other or both. I don't give a damn. Honestly, I'm sitting right here on the porch waiting. But I, ain't, I got a life. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit here and wait all day for some shit to go down. I got to go home. I got to edit this video, get it uploaded. I got things to do. And I got to move these cars around too. I got to try to put more of these in the shop so they're not just sitting outside, especially with some, you know lunatic running around uh, i got cameras all over this place so at a minimum i need to move the cars around where they are dead in the center of the uh of the cameras i honestly can't believe this i i mean the thought of throwing rocks at somebody's car i can't i can't process that because that's not something i would ever do if i had a problem with somebody i would go talk to them you know and, and i'm not talking about like trying to fight them I, I that's not how i do things man i the fighting is always a last resort for me I, I, I'm too old for this shit, man. I'm in my 40s. I'm not a teenager. I'm not wanting to go out and fight the world. You know what I mean? I prefer to just get along with everybody and treat people nice and people treat me nice and, you know, everybody's happy. Unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't work out that way. And I've been at this location for years, years. Like, everybody out here knows me, except for that guy. I don't know him either. I have no clue who that guy is. I don't know why he threw rocks at me. I even went back and reviewed the footage um, myself, like right here on the camera, I reviewed the footage and what I found was I was talking about how great the car was driving. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the guy's just having a bad day, but to pick up rocks off the ground and throw them at another man's car, you got to be crazy. You can hear in the audio from this video, you can hear the rocks hit the car. You know, I mean, the rocks made impact with the car and obviously I threw it in reverse because even though I don't like to fight, I don't condone fighting. You can't, you can't have people thinking you're a punk because if people think you're a punk, you're going to get punked for the rest of your life. Especially when we talk about in like little towns like this, a little community. Nah, man, people need to know that you don't screw around. You know, you don't play. I could have got out of my car and gone and beat his ass and then I probably would have gone to jail. And, you know, the way it will probably work, if the cops show up, I'm going to hang out for about another 20 minutes. And that's why I'm kind of making this video now because I don't think he's calling the cops. I think he knows that he fucked up. You know, you literally threw rocks and they impacted my car. That's my property that you hit. All right. You can't do that. Not only that, he threw rocks at a moving car on an interstate. This road that I'm on is a highway. It is a actual state highway. He threw rocks at a car going down the highway. I'm pretty sure there's probably a felony in there somewhere. You know, I don't know. At the end of the day, I, I threw it in reverse. I flew my happy ass back and I confronted him. He didn't want to do nothing. If he wanted to do something, he would have done something. He didn't. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to get out of my car on another man's property and start a fight. All right. Technically he started it, but I'm not going to jump out in another man's yard and start a fight, especially a guy has got a weapon on his hip. And I still, I have no idea if that's a knife, if it's a gun. I don't know. I ain't about to go out there and get cut or shot over some bullshit. It, it ain't going to happen, but he knows where I live. I made sure he knew that I was coming back to the house. And here I sit. Here I've been sitting. He ain't showed up. 
cops ain't showed up. I'm not going to sit here wasting my time over somebody that honestly doesn't deserve it. Now, could I have handled it better? I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about all of this again in my own head, and I'm like, could I have handled it better? Yeah, yeah, I could have. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. That looks like Popo. Hold up. Is that a cop? Yep, it is. Hold on. What's up? I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, hey, I'm filming it. Hope you don't mind. Is that all right? Hi, would you do me a favor? Yeah. Slow down on the Mustang. Please. Listen, I've got it on video. I was not speeding. I, I, I've got it on video. I was. I, this car is sold. Both of these cars are sold. I was just filming, making sure they both still run. You're perfectly fine. The guy threw rocks at me. I'm, he, yeah, I've got it on video. You can hear the rocks hitting the car. I was just driving. And he threw rocks at me. Who throws rocks at a man? I wasn't. I understand if I was out there balls to the wall tearing up the road. I don't have plates on the car. I'm a dealer. These cars are on the way out the door. I just took them up and down the street and the man threw rocks at me. He said, don't drive. Just a couple houses down okay. here on the left. And I, like I'm filming my drive to show my audience like these are good cars. Here they go down the road. Right, you sell them on whatever. They sell through Copart. But yeah, usually it's my audience that buys them. You know, and I just wanted to have one last farewell. Here they are as they're heading out. The cars are doing good. And then I see the man bend down and he, I hear chump -a -dump -bump on my car. And I'm like, are you serious? Did and you do any damage to your car? No, no, I ain't worried about damage. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm just pissed off that a grown man in his 60s would throw rocks at a car on the highway that wouldn't, if I was peeling I my that. tires, if I was doing donuts, I, I no, would. No, I don't see any pill up, Mark. No, I. And I got, I, I told the man, I said, dude, I'm literally filming the whole thing right now. This is all on camera. Why would I be out here smashing, burning tires on camera? He just threw rocks at me because what? I was in a Mustang with an exhaust. I wasn't even launching. Like I was cruising at 40 some miles an hour with it all on video. And, and, and he threw rocks at me and then he hollered at me to come back again. So I turned around and I came back to him and he's got his camera and he's shining it on where I have no plate. Um, you want me to make contact with him? If you could and maybe just tell him throwing rocks at people it's on the interstate not, isn't, you know, the, interstate, on the state highway. Highway, yeah, is, uh, you know, isn't maybe the best idea things to do. Which house is it? It's a brown house on the, it's on the north side, same side mine's on. Once you get past all those bushes and uh, so you see all them trees what's down there. Front yard? Uh, uh, it looked like he was doing yard work. He's got a pretty no, big. I'm talking about what kind of cars are that way? I, I didn't. The wrong house, the right I house. didn't even see. It's a tan colored house. Like two houses up, you said. Yeah. Once you get past all those bushes, out there, it's. Uh, I mean, I could. Okay. Yours 502 Ripley. Yeah, mine's 502. Okay, he's at 970. Yeah, he's literally. He's just right down the street on the left hand side of the road. Well, I'll see if I can't get this chilled out for them. I, I appreciate it because I. I've yeah, we don't be throwing rocks at cars. No, right. I've been here for years, man, and I'm not gonna lie. Occasionally, yeah, I, I get on the cars a little bit, but, but but this isn't something I routinely would do, and I sure didn't do it today. No, you got a formula sitting there. You got to that a just came in today. You know that one came in like two days ago. I've got a Mustang GT, a '93 convertible Mustang GT that's on its way. I got a row full of cars in the back. Like, I just like the I, I like. Not if I get out. Yeah, I, I like all the older. Well, I call them quirky. You know, most people don't don't oh, like the crowd bit back there. <laughs> yeah, there's an old police interceptor back there. It sat for like 10 years. I got it running. There's one of the old shows, the old Taurus SHOs, the V8 front wheel drive back oh, there. They were fun. I had a police interceptor, a 2016 uh, Taurus police interceptor. All wheel drive with the twin turbo. That sucker was. This is what I do, and you know, I buy cars, I make videos about it. That's it. I try not to, I don't piss anybody off. I don't even live here. This is just my car lot. I've got a house up in the city. The mayor lives right behind me. You know, <laughs> I, I try not oh, to, Lord. yeah, like that house right there is the mayor's house. So everybody here knows me. I don't cause any problems. I've never I, had. I didn't say you were causing a problem. No, I know. I just, I, when I see that, it's easier to say, hey, you know, <laughs> this is what's going on. Yeah. Who's in the challenge? Yeah, that car rides around here all the time. I have no idea. I don't know. So sounds nice though. <laughs> Whoever it is. <laughs> well, sir, my name's Jeff. Right, Jeff, way. my name's Randy. I was telling my viewers like we don't have a local municipality. There's no local nope. police out here. It's county. It's, it's county. And you guys cover a very large. I came from Purcell down here. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> y'all cover a large area. Okay. Yeah, I, I, he said he was calling the law, so I sat here. I sat on the porch. I was like, well, I don't want to run off and make it look like. 
you know, maybe I did something. Like it. So I'll you're sit here and. You're perfectly fine, my friend. All right, man. I'm going to go down there and get him to not throw rocks and cars. All right. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. Well, be careful. Yes, sir. Out you too. Yours. Hey, I appreciate uh, you, man. Anything, call up. All right. Thank you, sir. Don't be rocks and cars, call up. Yeah, <laughs> I will. Have a good one. Hey, my name's Randy. Have a good one. All right. Well, I know that was uh, probably anticlimactic, um, and I'm glad that it was, because the last thing I wanted was some big problem or argument or, or anything with the police or the neighbor down the street. Um, well, I'm wondering if he's going to end up rolling up in here and showing up. I hope he doesn't, because I don't, I don't want that guy over here on my property. But anyway, guys, I am going to, uh, I'm going to get out of here now that that whole thing is over with. I appreciate each and every one of you take time to watch my video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And like the officer said, don't throw rocks at people's cars. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.